What's up guys? I'm Wes and this is Peace Parts and in this episode we are getting this thing driving Well, kind of. We're gonna rig it up so that we can drive it uh, at least up and down the driveway here So first what we gotta do is put the battery stuff in there uh, and then we got a whole bunch of stuff to work on up front We got to do cooling system and uh, figure out some other uh, power wire stuff and things like that. So let's jump into it Okay, so I got the main power wire and ground wire ran. Uh, basically, I went up from the starter, kind of jogged over along the pinch weld there, ran it along kind of up into the wheel well here, and then I shot across here, came down, and then ran it right up through the floor here. Uh, I'm going to put a grommet there or something, probably. Uh, I need to make the hole a little bit bigger, maybe. I don't know. But uh, uh, that's where it'll come through the floor, and then it'll go to the battery right here. Still going to make a mount for this thing, but uh, it's kind of in the right pocket this is pretty much where i wanted to sit uh so then i just put a little terminal on it this is the one that was on the ranger harness i may get a new one but this one seems to work just fine for right now anyway um and then i've got uh plenty of extra <laughs> ground cable it's super long here uh and that's because i'm going to put a cutoff switch in it so i just kind of left it really long so that i can run that to the cutoff switch uh, and i want to put it on the negative side but anyway then i just ran it kind of in a big loop there just for now, and then uh, drilled a hole, bolted it down with some uh, star washers. So basically what these do is they kind of dig into the metal and help get a lot nicer, uh, consistent ground from there. So I put basically three different ones on there. There's one underneath this washer, in between the washer and the terminal, one under the terminal and the car, and then on the bottom side as well between the car and the nut. So uh, I did... I didn't even have to ground down the uh, uh, paint a little bit there, so uh, it kind of looks cleaner too. That way you don't have to like have any grinding marks there too. But So I got the power wire ran, and now with the battery in the back, this is what we got. Which is good. So that's exactly what I want. It cranks over nice and smooth, and uh, just as strong as when it was sitting up there. So. Uh, I'm going to clean up some of the wiring uh, off of the starter there to make sure I get good uh, constant power into my dash area where I want to hook up things. Uh, but this is sorted for now. Uh, it'll be good enough for now. Uh, last video, we got the fuel system all sorted. So I got to run the uh, power wires to the relay harness up to the battery here, figure out a way to connect them here. And then uh, we can have switched power to the fuel pump. And then we could throw some fuel in this thing and see if it'll still fire. So... Um, but before we do that, uh, we got some other things to work on up front. Okay, so, um, we probably don't need to do this right away, but I want to get the cooling system sorted out here. So, uh, I got two new radiator hoses. These are just stock hoses for a 79 Pinto, uh, that I got off of Rock Auto. This one fits perfectly. The lower hose, I can't get the old Ranger one off. That's it right there. Um, so I'm gonna have to crawl under there and pull it off. <sighs> I think what I might have to do is take the radiator shroud and the fan back out uh, just to give myself a little more clearance. Kind of sucks. I should have taken that all apart and figured out the hoses before I put this in, but it's not that big of a deal. There's no fluid in there yet, so I may have to just pull this back out, put the bottom hose on and uh, on the engine, and then put it all back together. But uh, yeah, let's work on that. Oh, and also uh, I need to sort out the... Uh, heater line so basically this line right here is the one that one of them one of them that would have gone to the heater uh, and I think right there yeah there's the other one so basically those just need to make a loop and then in the middle of that loop I need to put the uh, coolant temp sensor that was on the Ranger there's basically just a T with the sensor stuck into it so I'm gonna try to maybe go to the auto parts store and see if I can get a hose that has like a uh, I don't know basically a 180 uh, or maybe just shy of that so that it can Kind of plug straight into those and I can put the sensor in there and kind of hide it all underneath the coils here. Uh, then you won't even see it and it'll be kind of out of the way. Obviously, I'm not going to run a heater in this thing. So, yeah. Okay, let's work on the lower radiator hose now. So I got the old hose off, uh, this went up to the water pump right here and this would have gone to the Ranger radiator. Uh, the problem is it was just a little bit, uh, 
too wrong and <laughs> this size is too big uh, you can see there that's that's the size that it should be on the radiator and this is the size that it was so that wouldn't have clamped down and, and held pressure correctly uh, but the problem is this kind of has the right angle that I need uh, it's just a little bit too long and and this kind of makes it kink uh, so I kind of need that shorter I need it to be more like this but this angle goes the wrong way uh, so basically if this angle you know kind of came out this way and shot this way instead of coming this way uh, then this one would probably work but uh, you know this was a really cheap one on rock auto and uh, I mean I, I think it was literally like two or three dollars uh, so that's probably why it doesn't fit the the sizes are correct and and this portion's all perfect but uh, yeah the rest of that's not gonna work so I think I'm gonna try to find uh, see if there's another part maybe I got the wrong part I don't know um, See, there's a different part number for this, for this car. Um, the top hose fits perfectly, but uh, worst case scenario, I may have to just get a flex hose and run it on the bottom. I didn't want to do that, but uh, yeah, it is what it is. So um, this one's junk anyway. Uh, this one's probably not going to work. So let's see if we can figure it out. Okay, I'm back. Uh, they didn't have the hose uh, specifically for that. So uh, I went ahead and had them order a flex hose. Uh, and it'll be in later today, so for now, uh, that's going to be tabled, but I did get this, um, and you can't really see it very well on camera. The top of the uh, water pump has a line, or sorry, the top of the thermostat housing has a line that comes out here, goes right underneath the coils right here, and then the water pump has a return right there, and then basically these two lines would have gone over to a heater core somewhere over there, but like I said, I'm not going to do that, so uh, I needed a way to kind of cap those off. And I went, looked around on the shelf and found this, and it seems to work pretty well. It's, it's uh, both 5 eighths lines. And then I can put in my uh, uh, temperature sensor, I guess is what it is. Um, and it'll go somewhere like in there in that straight section. And I'll put that kind of like that, and it'll sit just like there and be kind of mostly hidden. So um, we're probably gonna need some clamps for this. So uh, let me see if I can find some, and then uh, we can put, put this all together. Chop this, put it all together. Okay, so I got a few things done here. Um, I didn't record it just because I wanted to jam out and listen to some music. So uh, I got the heater core loop installed there. I got the uh, sensor plugged in. I just I had some extra wiring and I didn't really want to uh, cut it up again. So uh, I just kind of bundled it up there and I think it'll be fine. It's far enough away from the header. At least there's some room <laughs> that I think it'll be okay. Uh, but we we'll may, may have to keep an eye on that. Uh, it's all clamped down, all ready to go. Uh, I got the fan hooked back up since I had to take it off to get the radiator and everything out. Uh, I'm still waiting on the hose, but uh, that's not a big deal. I'm pretty sure I can get to everything, uh, including where it clamps uh, with everything installed. Uh, and then obviously I'll need to check the fitment to the actual radiator with it in the, pl in the car. So, uh, yeah. I got this ground kind of situated. Uh, I had a few other things. Uh, I had the original... Uh, ground battery cable connected to it as well and to the engine block and I realized I didn't really need that obviously um, and then I connected these two other wires to ground there as well uh, they're a sensor ground I had them kind of just sitting here uh, but I finally got them connected uh, I got some RTV to do the uh, dipstick I need to seal the dipstick down into our fitting there um, I need to do that still but uh, that shouldn't take too long yeah so uh, that's a, a lot of what we need done sorted up in, up in here, uh, which is awesome. Next, I think what I'm going to do is throw in my drive shaft. I put in a new U-joint here at the back. That's That part goes onto the rear end there. And uh, then uh, that new joint looks fine, actually. The only reason I replaced this one was because uh, one of the caps fell off when we took it apart. Uh, and I lost it, so I grabbed a new one. And uh, so... Maybe we should throw this in there, and then I need to get some uh, nuts for the trans cross member. I lost those as well, uh, so we'll have to get those and put those in. And once we put the drive shaft in, then we'll have a, a full connected uh, drive train, uh, which is super cool. So once we fire it, we'll be able to make sure the transmission clutch works and everything. Um, and yeah, so let's get, let's jump under there and throw this uh, th this drive shaft in. Jeez. Okay, so I'm going to try to put what little gas I have, this tiny little bit here, in the fuel cell, hook up the pump, uh, which I hooked up to the battery, so I just gotta basically uh, act like there's a switch there, uh, and send power to the relay to turn the pump on, which I already checked, it works. Um, got the engine 
Ready to start, basically. Um, so I'm gonna throw some gas at it, hit the pump, and uh, we'll see if this thing runs pretty much on its own without me, with almost how it would. But uh, yeah, we'll see if it runs. All right. Okay, well, we don't seem to have any fuel links. Uh, I, just ran, uh, I just ran the pump for a little bit, uh, and it seemed like it was cycling around, and uh, you can probably see there, I had pressure. I just used a little tester to stuff on it, and uh, I had pressure, so um, that means that it should run again. So, just in case again, I got my fire extinguisher on standby, uh, because that's how much trust I have in myself. So, let's try it again. Seems good. Probably should have checked to make sure it wasn't in gear then, but uh, it wasn't, <laughs> thankfully. Uh, and you can hear there, uh, the pedal cable is working, which is super awesome. Um, yeah, it wasn't idling great. Uh, I think that's probably because I don't have the mass airflow sensor and IIT and oxygen sensor and stuff. So let's hook that up. See if that fixes anything. I don't know, but cool. Also, probably shouldn't run it too long still because, again, um, I don't have the cool cooling system figured out quite yet. Still waiting on that hose, but uh, yeah, I'm happy with it. Cool. And uh, let's go again. This time we have the air intake and uh, mass airflow sensor, IHA sensor, all that stuff hooked up. And this will be the first time that I've run it with those things connected. So uh, let's see if it makes a difference.
Much better. Yeah, so, uh, kind of needs those things to run right. <laughs> uh, I don't have a tack or, like, any gauges, um, but ran a lot better. Okay, so we got the hose now. Uh, I did test fit it, and it seems to fit perfectly. Uh, I'm going to have a little fun trying to get this hose clamp on up here, but uh, I knew I would, and whatever. I kind of rather would have the radiator in, so um, I think I can make it work. So let's go ahead and throw some clamps on it and stick it in there for good. Throw some clamps on here, uh, and then we should be have, then we should have a full cooling system, which is exciting. So um, I'm gonna throw some clamps on this, and then we'll throw some stuff in this. Yeah. Okay, radiator hoses are sorted. Uh, I, <laughs> it was kind of a pain in the ass to get to the top hose clamp there, but. I was able to make it work, got it all tightened down, and uh, got the bottom connected as well. Got my clamps up on the top hose, it's all secured now. And uh, so, next thing I want to do is, I want to make this hood fit. Uh, there's a little bit of interference between the uh, this little nub on the uh, throttle blade, actually, whatever you want to call this. Uh, wherever the, the accelerator cable connects to, and the center rib on the hood there. So, basically the hood will fit, it will shut right now. Um, but it won't actually move as I uh, push the gas when the hood is shut. So I think if I just cut the rib out, um, maybe grind this down a little bit, uh, it should be fine. Looking at it, it doesn't look like it raises up much through the travel, uh, other than this little nub, but I could cut that off. So um, yeah, I'm going to try to make that fit. So let's do that. rubbing on the hood. I can feel it rubbing on the hood and you can kind of see it moving. Okay, so let me pop the hood. Thing done. Okay, I got some more power wire stuff figured out. I got some of the wires away from the exhaust manifold over here. I got the trans filled up with fluid. I have, um, what else did I just, oh, I adjusted the e-brake so that I have some brakes. Uh, 
this Mapster, I'm pretty sure, is just completely shot. Um, so there's, I mean, I would need to get that, but uh, I can pull the e-brake and it'll slow me down if I need to. So um, I put a little bit of gas in it, a couple gallons, because it ran out when I was trying to test some stuff here. And uh, so I think the next thing to do is to throw some coolant in it and see if this thing can uh, cycle coolant without overheating. I'm not even going to know if it overheats, actually. I don't have a gauge. Maybe I should figure out a gauge. Hmm. No. Hopefully this radiator holds water. I don't even know if it does for sure. It's leaking on the ground yet though, so that's a good sign. Just kidding. Oh, that's the pet cook. I'm probably going to have some trouble trying to bleed this with uh, with this hose right here. I got the car as low in the back as I can and almost as high up in the front as I can, but uh, yeah, I don't even know if that's going to help. Really no way around that other than uh, maybe if I shorten this hose some more. Which I think is doable. Yeah, I'm gonna fill this up with water because this is full strength and yeah. Okay, so far so good. I got coolant in there. It's uh hasn't quite got the temp yet. This hasn't started circulating through yet. Uh, I think the thermostat's still shut. Uh, but I mean things are running great. A little bit of smoke from the exhaust. I think that's just because it was all greasy. Uh, same with kind of the side of the engine block. I think there was just some oil and grease on there, but uh, yeah, I mean everything sounds great. So I'm gonna keep letting it run. Uh, try to get it up to temperature and uh, yeah then fingers crossed maybe we can try to drive it uh, with no seat or figure out something to sit on so <laughs> yeah thing was parked in 02. I think I said when it was parked in my uh, in my first video on this thing, but uh, yeah, it freaking drove. So um, obviously there's still a lot, a lot of work to be done. Uh, I got to get this windshield replaced. I did get another one. Uh, I bought it from a guy that sold one that's used. Uh, we got to figure out 
a seat mount, we gotta do seat belts, we gotta do the floor pans, we gotta do brake system, I probably need to check out the rear end. Uh, as well as like all the chassis wiring stuff and interior things, so there's definitely plenty of work to be done left, so, um, I mean, don't think this is it because there's definitely a lot left, but uh, yeah, I'm super stoked. Uh, this was this was my goal to get, and I think uh, I think we we're just under a year uh, from when I pulled this thing out uh, of the weeds, uh, which is super awesome. So yeah, uh, that's gonna be it for this video, though. I think um, a lot of the other stuff we're gonna do, uh, I can put into other videos. So I think I'm gonna end it there. And uh, yeah, this was a really big one for me. Uh, I'm super excited. I hope you guys are excited as well. So thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Peace out.